हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू फिजिकल साइंस डिजिटल क्लासेस महबूबाबाद माई सेल्फ नरेंद्र बाबू कोटला पीजीडी केमिस्ट्री टी एस एम एस महबूबाबाद टूडे इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ एसिड्स एंड बेसिस कमिंग टू स्ट्रॉन्ग एसिड स्ट्रॉन्ग एसिड एन एसिड which is completely ionized in water and thus produce a large amount of hydrogen ions is called a strong acid a, an acid which is completely ionized in water and thus produce a large amount of hydrogen ions is called a strong acid example hcl is completely ionized in water so it is a strong acid strong acid in the sense the substance which can able to undergo complete ionization ionization means when you add it to the water it undergoes it dissociates into ions so the substance which can able to undergo 100% ionization then it is called as strong acid for example hcl hcl is completely ionized in water how can you say let me explain this if you take 100 molecules of the hcl if you add it to the water if all 100 molecules undergoes dissociation or ionization to give h plus and cl minus ions 100 molecules of hcl undergoes ionization and gives the 100 h plus ions and 100 cl minus ions that means all the reactant molecules are undergoing and they are forming the products this is complete ionization so actually all strong acids they undergo complete ionization all strong acids they undergo complete 100% ionization they undergo 100% ionization example h2so4 sulfuric acid hno3 nitric acid or strong acids means they undergo 100% ionization means complete ionization in water that's why they are strong acids note here strong refers to the degree of ionization and not the concentration of the acid strong in the sense that indicates the degree of ionization of an acid means if you take an acid how much so amount it undergoing dissociation that indicates here but not the concentration of the acid whether if you take so dilute or the concentrated acid whatever the acid you take so for example hcl hcl if you take the strong the concentrated acid or the dilute hcl it undergoes 100% ionization it undergoes 100% ionization that means the strong that refers to the degree of ionization and not to the concentration of the acid due to the large amount of h plus ions in their solution strong acids react very rapidly with other substances other substances means like metals metal carbonates and metal hydrogen carbonates so strong acids means they will undergo 100% ionization that's why they contains a large amounts of h plus ions in it they contain the large amount of h plus ions in their solution so that's why they can able to react rapidly with the substances so that's why strong acids they shows the so rapid reaction with the substances strong acids also have a high electrical conductivity because these strong acids having the high electric conductivity because of the high concentration of h plus ions in their solution so that means more number of the h plus ions they can able to release that's why so electricity in the sense passes off or movement of the ions so all the strong acids and are generally strong electrolytes more h plus ions will be present that's why so more ions if they present in the solution more conductivity takes place that's why strong acids are strong electrolytes coming to the weak acids 
an acid which is partially ionized in water and thus produce a small amount of hydrogen ions is called a weak acid. Simply weak acid in the sense an acid which is partially ionized means not completely ionized means not undergoes 100% ionization less than the 100% if it undergoes ionization then then it is called weak acid for example acetic acid is partially ionized in water to produce only a small amount of hydrogen ions so it is a weak acid for example if you take the acetic acid acetic acid is a weak acid that means if you take the 100 molecules of the acetic acid then 100 molecules of the acetic acid that do not undergo ionization all molecules all reactants they do not undergo ionization only few of them either 50 percent or 60 percent or 70 percent or 80 percent but not the 100 percent of the reactants they do not undergo ionization that's why acetic acid is a weak acid double arrow pointing towards right as well as left in the equation tells us that acetic acid does not ionize fully to form H plus ions. If you observe the equation CH3COOH, it gives the CH3COO minus H plus ions. The double arrow pointing towards right as well as left in the equation that tells us acetic acid does not ionize fully to form H plus ions. Example, one more example. H2CO3, carbonic acid, sulfurous acid, H2SO3, these are weak acids. Weak acid react quite slowly with other substances. Other substances means like metals, metal carbonates and metal hydrogen carbonates. So weak acids, they react slowly with other substances. All weak acids are weak electrolytes. Why? Because they do not undergo 100% ionization. That's why less number of the ions will produce in their solutions, in their aqueous solutions. That's why the conductivity is also less. And coming to the strong bases. What is a strong base? A base which completely ionizes in water and thus produce a large amount of hydroxide ions when dissolved in water means a base which completely ionizes in water and thus produces a large amount of hydroxide ions OH- ions when dissolved in water so that means if you take any one of the base base that undergoes 100% ionization by adding it to the water and it releases the OH- ions. The complete means so whatever the reactants, for example, 100 molecules of the base if you take. So 100 molecules, total 100 molecules undergoes ionization. That is a strong base. Example, sodium hydroxide, NaOH, potassium hydroxide, KOH. Weak bases. A base which is partially ionized in water and thus produces a small amount of hydroxide ions is called a weak base. What is weak base? A base which is partially ionized in water and thus produces a small amount of hydroxide ions is called weak base. Similarly, if you add a base to the water, so it undergoes partial ionization. It undergoes partial ionization, not 100%, not complete ionization. Then the gives the OH- ions is called weak base. Example, ammonium hydroxide, NH4OH, calcium hydroxide, CaOH twice, magnesium hydroxide, MgOH twice are the examples of these weak bases. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.